likely you know the saying, old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. Tonight, many words are being said about a St. Louis County lawmaker's selfie shared online. First Lord 4, Shoshana Stahl explains what has a lot of people talking tonight. A photo posted over the weekend on social media now leading to controversy in the comments. Missouri House Representative Sarah Unsicker, a Democrat representing Shrewsbury, Richmond Heights, Brentwood, Maplewood, and running for attorney general, took a selfie with a man named Charles Johnson, who the Anti-Defamation League calls a Holocaust denier. Denial is in, it's just a well-worn anti-Semitic trope. Uh, we see it all the time, unfortunately, um, in particular when it comes to the Holocaust. And so this is a Holocaust denial or Holocaust minimization of what took place during the Holocaust, um, questioning whether or not the established facts are true themselves. These are all forms of anti-Semitism, anti and these are ways for people who to try to discredit the Jewish narrative. First Alert 4 asked Johnson for an interview to talk about the picture and the labeling of being a Holocaust denier. He wrote saying the U.S. government doesn't allow him to use Zoom, but he said it's, quote, categorically false that he's a Holocaust denier and that he's a proud donor to Holocaust education. It's not the first controversy Johnson has been in, associating himself with alt-right conspiracies and Donald Trump mega fundraisers. Representative Unsicker would also not do an interview with First Alert 4, but in a statement said, quote, My constituents and Missourians know who I am and what I stand for. Back in 2020, First Alert 4 spoke to her as racist graffiti hit the area. I'm worried that it's going to escalate, too. I'm worried about violence, and I'm worried about the safety of this community. The controversy brought by Representative Unsicker's selfie is troubling to a lot gross. He's also a Democrat running for and, Missouri and it Attorney does, General. I mean, it makes me question uh, this person as a lawmaker and what decisions are they making on behalf of Missourians right now? And that's what I'm really most concerned about at this moment. Gross wanted the representative to give a better explanation, and he says he hopes she still will say something. If not, he believes the Missouri Democratic Party should part ways with Unsicker if her beliefs really do align with Charles Johnson. I meet with folks that I disagree with all the time, and I do think that engaging with people of different beliefs, the free speech, all of this stuff is really important, but there's a difference between engaging with folks and trying to persuade them of something versus taking what they're saying, making them an intrinsic part of, of the policy making decisions that you're making, and then defending those individuals with those those pretty horrendous beliefs. In St. Louis, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4. And we re did reach out to the Missouri Democratic Party about this. So far, we have not heard back. New at